All right, thanks, Dick. I'm Tim O'Hare. Thank you for coming tonight and allowing us to debate and talk about the issues for the upcoming election. Uh, first off, I just want to acknowledge uh, kind of a new face here in the crowd that may not have been here before, and that's my wife, Louise, whom uh, we've been together for 24 years, married for 18. So she's stuck by me this whole way, so I appreciate you coming tonight, hon. A uh, little bit about myself. Uh, 42 years of age, retired military. 22 years of service there, Iraqi war vet. And I think a lot of you guys know my, my history and a little bit of my background because you've heard me speak before. So I'll, I'll tell you why I'm running. Uh, originally, when I came back from Iraq, again, combat, I think, changes you significantly coming back and seeing the way things happen in a, in a, in a foreign country. I think it's something that changes you your entire life. And when I came back, uh, initially, we had a, an election going on at that period of time, and, and Tim Moore was running for office. I did support Tim Moore. I went out actively, campaigned for him. I uh, thought he was the right guy for the job. Uh, in that four years, I was subsequently promoted to investigator and then sergeant, and got a little closer to the internal workings of the organization, and I've kind of seen the way things have been going. And it's, it's the things that I've seen that have made me come out and run for office. I came out originally in April, early in April, to run against the incumbent, Tim Moore. Uh, he decided to drop out of the race. And one of the things I wanted to bring to the office was, was positive, proven leadership. If, if anybody knows the internal state of, of what the organization is right now, the one thing that we really, really need at this point in time is, is proven leadership to bring us to the next level. I think we can uh, do a lot more things, accomplish a lot more for the citizens of Polk County if we're operating instead of kind of in a reactive type leadership style to proactive. Thank you. Hi, my name is Pete Johnson. Um, I don't have a whole spiel that I've always been able to get out, but I'm going to do my best here. Uh, I thank you for all, all for inviting us here, and we'll do the best job we can. Uh, I've got a little different story. Uh, when this election started, I had no intention of running. Um, at the time, uh, we were helping my father, who had just been placed on hospice. He died uh, April 30th. Um, Tim Moore announced he wasn't going to run shortly after that. Um, and that's when I made the decision to even consider it. I had been thinking about running for sheriff at some point in my career, my, my entire career with Polk County. Uh, which is almost 12 years now, and I, in all honesty, had wanted to wait one more uh, election cycle. Um, when Tim dropped out, it left obviously no incumbent, and I felt that I had some things that I could bring to that office, and it just pushed my timetable up. Uh, Tim and I definitely have a different style. Um, I'm not going to say Tim style is right or wrong or or anything like that. I think my style is a little bit well on my my view it's better i I believe that I'm more uh, I can control yeah, I'm not sure how I want to say this <laughs> i I just think my temperament is better i I can view a bigger picture I think. Um, I, I like to get the whole picture before I immediately make a decision, and that's my main part that I want to bring to this is, is is just not jump right in or you know make some statements that things need to all of it needs to be changed, uh, but actually stand back and take a look, keep the things that are working, get rid of the things that aren't, and that's what I've got to bring. <laughs> 